Do we have to do this? An occasional check-in makes sense. If we're all off doing our own thing, we can lose sight of the bigger pictures. I went on vacation to avoid committee meetings. We can safely say vacation is over. Are we ready, everyone? Sure. Let's end it quickly. All right. First question. Atoru, how is your leg? I'm pretty sure it's sprained, not broken. I'll still need to take it easy for a few days at least, and I know that's less than ideal. You're fine, big guy. You do what you can. Agreed. You've been working on the shelters, and that's something we're going to need when the weather gets bad. I've got a roof over a small section, and it's reasonably watertight. Uh, How big are we planning to make this, though? That's a good point. We have a lot of this island to explore yet. It might make more sense to have the shelter somewhere else. So I don't know if we want to waste too much effort. Yeah, but if the rain starts, we're going to want it to be big enough that we're not all standing on top of each other. Arturo, what do you think? You're doing the bulk of the building. Uh, it's probably the best use of my time to keep building here for now, but I'll start thinking about making it easier to take down and move if need be. Sounds good? I guess. Works for me. Okay, so that's shelter for the moment. Can we... Uh, never mind. What is it? Forget it. No, come on. Guys, I know we need to make sure we're going to be okay no matter how long we end up stranded here, but... But look, we've only been here a few days. When we talk about moving the shelter and exploring the island, I feel like the rest of you have given up hope that anyone's coming to help us. Oh, Carla. I can't speak for everyone, but I haven't given up on anything. I just can't sit around waiting and hoping. Building the shelter is in my control. And Nancy and I have been working on getting us out of here. While one of us was fishing, the other was moving stones and sticks to the beach. We've got the word help spelled out in 20-foot letters. Does that actually work? No idea. But it's the best we can do at the moment. What about the signal fire? Yeah, that's a project. Uh, the cooking fire is one thing, but we're going to need a lot of wood for a signal fire. And I've used most of what we found so far on the shelter. And the rest of the wood is on trees which have all the fruit on them. Not that we could cut those trees down easily with what we have. I'm sure you can make an axe with a stick and a rock, but I don't know how to do that. But speaking of the fruit trees, we should check on our food stores. Well, we have all the coconuts we could ever want. True, but be careful with that. Coconuts have a lot of potassium. You'll give yourself a heart attack if you eat more than one every other day. Also, all the coconuts we could ever want is very quickly becoming zero coconuts. I didn't like them much before we got here. And when we get off the island, I swear I'm never having one again unless it's in a pina colada. I agree that food variety is important, but the fishing has been less than ideal. We caught one fish in three days' time. We we might have better luck with looking for clams and other shellfish. Fishing is great if you have the tools for it, but right now we very much don't. Yeah, but there's a problem with that. I'm allergic to shellfish. Well, crap. Yeah, I am really not suited for being shipwrecked on a deserted island. Are any of us? But not to sound callous or anything... But shellfish can still be an option for the rest of us, right? We'll need to watch what we're cooking on. Probably shouldn't cook the clams on the same rock we cook the fish on. I super mega hate the fact that rocks are our normal cooking surfaces now. So we have coconuts, fish when we can get them, clams if we can find them, and only for most of us. Any other thoughts? I can throw a rock at a seagull. We're eating seagulls now. For all the fries those jerks stole from me over the years, I'm okay with it. I've been pescatarian for the last ten years, but I can put that aside until we get off the island. Pesca, who is it? Vegetarian, except for seafood. That's a thing? Getting off topic. Right. So, it looks like, for the time being at least, we're all right for food. We have that little stream for fresh water. It doesn't taste great, but we're lucky to have it. So is the next step to explore the rest of the island? I'm happy to do that. Not by yourself. We can cover more ground if we split up. And if somebody slips on a wet leaf and breaks their leg, nobody will know it until they don't come back. So, I'll head out with you tomorrow morning. Actually, 
I think I should go, Sandra. If there's going to be a lot of walking, then maybe the person with shoes instead of the person with flip-flops. I was thinking tomorrow I'd just follow the shoreline and see how large the island is around. If we're just walking on the beach, flip-flops are fine. Until the beach stops being sand and pebbles and turns into rocks or cliffs you need to climb around. At which point we'll turn around and go back the other way. At least for now. So Arturo is going to keep working on the shelter. Carla and I are heading up the beach. Nancy? Fishing and looking for clams, I guess. All right. I guess we're good for now, then. I'm going to go start the fire for tonight. And I'll see if I can catch us anything for you to cook on that fire before the sun sets. Hang on, guys. There's a few other things we should talk about. Like what? Well, technically we don't have to make any decisions on this right now. But we should at least decide if we're not going to decide. But this might make sense to decide right now, because if we wait to decide it later, then we might not be able to make the best decisions. Thanks. Glad we cleared that up. Nancy, what are you trying to say? Okay, suppose we don't find enough shellfish to survive on, and that we eat all the coconuts. If there isn't enough food, what do we do? We cut down the trees and build the signal fire. And if that doesn't work? We really need to decide on what to do in the worst-case scenario. Did the kids at school used to call you negative, Nancy? Just curious. If, when the worst happens, we haven't already made our plans for how we handle them, we're not going to be prepared. The worst already happened. Our boat sank and we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Okay, okay, take a breath. Nancy, tell us what specifically you want us to plan for. Well... Unless it is cannibalism, in which case absolutely do not. Really? I stand by what I said. We have to plan. Just in case. You want to plan? How about this? The first person we eat is the first person who suggested cannibalism. Okay, that works. That works? You're happy about this? It's a plan. It's a direction. We can make that one of our tenants. Or what? If we have to stay on this island for any length of time, we're going to need to make a new society. Societies need rules. And... First one on the menu is the one who suggested cannibalism. Isn't the worst rule for that sort of thing. Since when are we starting a new society? Yeah, hopefully never. But, like I say, if we do need to do that, I'd like to have a plan going into it. By the way, Arturo, what are your thoughts on having a harem? Uh, say that again? Or don't? Uh, I, I wouldn't mind hearing the answer. No harems! Okay. But if we need to repopulate the Earth... We are shipwrecked. We don't need to repopulate the Earth. That's what you do in an apocalypse. The rest of the world is fine. We don't need to repopulate it. Technically, you don't know that. We have officially crossed the line into ridiculous. We aren't going to start a new society with a coconut-based economy and a religion based on cannibalism and mandatory polygamy. We're going to be rescued any day now. Unless we aren't. We will be. And that would be great. But in case we aren't... We, we will, will be. be! What makes you so sure? Hey there! Oh my gosh. Hey! Hello! We're here! Was that your lifeboat I saw on the shore back there? Anybody hurt? Uh, I got a sprained ankle, but, but I'm okay. Can you make it to my canoe? I'll take you over to the other side of the island. We've got a doctor who can see you. You couldn't keep me out of that canoe if you chopped off my legs. Oh yeah, we were shipwrecked for about six months before we finally got the attention of a plane flying over. Turned out no one owned this island, and a few of us didn't have any lives to go back to, so we stuck around. But we imported a few luxuries, of course. So, we have a way to radio for someone to come get us? Sure. Or you could always just borrow my cell phone. Can I ask you something? Sure. In that six months, would you ever have to think about 
cannibalism? Um, not really. There's pigs all over the island. Sailors used to drop them off places in the old days so they'd have something to eat. We had one guy who had to stop eating kosher, but that's about it. Anything we should know about life in this new society? Pretty normal, all things considered. I mean, we don't have room for a prison or anything, so on Friday nights we do hunt the lawbreakers for sport. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Sure. You've been listening to Plan for the Worst. Produced by Seat of Our Pants Players, written and directed by Dan Wenzel. Carla was Joe Wenzel. Arturo was Adam Gastingi. Sandra was Liz Music. Nancy was Andy Gastingi. And the Islander was Dan Wenzel. Music and sound effects by www.freesfx.co.uk. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. Super special thanks to that individual who is supporting us at the Founder of the Feast level. If you have not yet joined up as one of our Patreon supporters, please consider doing so. Patreon.com slash Seat of Our Pants Players.